planet is crumbling under plastic waste. And the situation may get worse in the future. With 400 million tons of products each year, 80% of which are found in nature. The solution may come from the bottom of the ocean. With this bacterium from a marine algae, capable of producing biodegradable plastic. Marine microorganisms uh, thrive in a high salinity environment, in a, a low temperature and low organic matter. So they gained lots of attentions uh, due to, to their high uh, capability to produce biopolymers in large quantity and also in uh, great quality. So this is the pink colonies of the bacteria and these bacteria are able to produce the biopolymers uh, using the sugars inside the, uh, the media itself that we isolate to use for uh, plastic production. A team of researchers from Tel Aviv University has found the ideal food for this bacterium that is not expensive and available in large quantities. In this uh, project, we're basically solving two problems. The one is the plastic pollution problem by uh, producing biopolymers that are biodegradable. And the second problem is the uh, agricultural waste that is accumulating in large amounts in the environment. So we're using this agricultural waste as a food for the microorganisms to produce the biodegradable uh, polymers. So the plastic looks like uh, these. We uh, succeeded in producing biopolymers, bioplastics, which look the same as the plastic that we use every day. And these polymers can degrade between three to six months in nature. The other difficulty is extracting the plastic from the bacterium without polluting. Well, mostly in research, uh, they use uh, very toxic and expensive solvents uh, in order to extract the biopolymers from the bacteria. In our research, we suggest to use a green and sustainable and also low-cost solvent uh, in order to extract these uh, polymers. Uh, so the solvents that we use is basically found in nature. Israel is a very bad student in ecology. Rima is from the Arab city of Baka al Garbiya, located in the center of the country. She hopes to change mentalities thanks to her research. My hometown or even here in Israel, they're using uh, tons of amounts of plastic every day. And uh, it's being thrown away without even uh, caring about the harmful effect that we are doing to the environment. So I think this is. Uh, the way that I'm going to uh, increase my, the awareness regarding the plastic pollution is to show the problem that we're causing and to suggest a solution. And this is, the, this is the future. Researchers are going to launch a pilot project in the coming months in order to produce these polymers in large quantities. They hope that they will be used in the future for packaging or even biofuels.